15,000. Nice. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about the Flandre, the tier 8 uh, French battleship that was just recently released. And, uh, well, you can see I already like it. It's got a butt anchor. Um, and it's got plenty of benches. With with anything French, the, the number of benches you have equal power. This ship's got a yeah, lot of benches. The only thing that it's missing is a croissant factory right next to the ship or something. <laughs> <laughs> now, in reality, guys, a lot of people call this a tier 8 Alsace. Is it really? Well, it lacks some of the main battery firepower that the Alsace has, because the Alsace has quad turrets, whereas the Flandre has triples. Uh, one other thing that's important I want to comment on is that because Alsace is tier 9, Alsace gets access to the main battery modification 3 consumable, which means that the, the reload for the Alsace is cut down to 28.2 seconds. Now you compare that to the Flandre, and the Flandre's reload is 33 seconds. Big difference there in how often you're getting your guns to fire. However, one of the big differences between the two is the Sigma. The Flandre has the old Alsace, the original Alsace Sigma of I believe it's 1.8 versus 1.6 that the uh, the Alsace has. So that means in general, yeah. your shells are going to be more accurate. So you've got fewer barrels, but more accurate guns. All right, good, isn't it? Lurk away. Um, just like any other French battleship, it's got lots and lots of secondaries, as you guys can see. So, you know, one thing that you could do is you could spec this for secondaries if you wanted to, although the 152s have a pretty long reload time. The 100s reload quite frequently. However, if you are going to spec this for secondaries, note that the shell penetration of the secondaries is abysmally low at 17 millimeter, which means you will want to put IFHG on your captain. If you do, let me just get right to IFHG. Did I miss it? There. If you do, then your secondaries will pen 21 millimeters of armor. Now that's very important because that means that you're going to start penning superstructure uh, as well as, um, you know, make sure that you, you pen most destroyers and stuff like that. So, uh, that's one that's one thing to consider if you want to build a secondary build for this you're probably going to have to invest into IFHE um, of course you'll you'll uh, end up losing uh, some of your fire chance as well that comes from these uh, secondaries so up to you which one you want to go into how many park benches do we have on this ship well there's one there's two there's three there's four, there's five, there's six on each side. So there are a total of 12 benches on this ship. So you can have a smoke and have a cafe avec their croissant <laughs> anywhere you want on the ship. That's right, that's right. Yeah. Now, I've, I've played this, this ship with uh, the, the standard battleship kind of thing. One thing I did change up, though, is the rudder shift time. Uh, because I noticed that the rudder shift is, is pretty low. Uh, without the rudder shift uh, ability, let's just change over to engine boost. This is what I would probably put on it, or propulsion, if it had an engine boost. But you can see the rudder shift is 16.6. Uh, so, I don't know. You could, you could do one or the other. If we were to build a full secondary... Full secondary um, commander. Let's just go ahead and... Do. Uh, secondary range goes out to, come on, 10.9 kilometer. Uh, and I think that's without the secondary flag, so it's really 11.3 if you want to go full secondary on it. Which is kind of nice. The benches can bounce five tens. Oh god. That, that would Easily. be, that would Easily. be an interesting mechanic. The only hilarious is this, like it's titanium benches or something like that, and it just absorbs the whole shell. It'd be basically like putting, <laughs> like making your armor benches around. Now, just like the other French battleships, it's got 32 millimeters of armor, which means a lot of your HE spamming ships that have IFHE will make uh, short work of the armor. Um, it's got a 50 millimeter upper plating though, or side plating, so that's kind of nice. Let's compare that to the Alsace. 
which also has the 32, except, oh, that's interesting. So the Alsace has 32 on the side. The Flandre actually is better armored on the side. Yep. Wow, that's interesting. Now, how does that compare to, where's, there's my tier 10 Burgon. Burgogne? Burgon? Burgoyne. Burgoyne? Same thing. Mm -hmm. So the Flandre actually has better side armor. Interesting. And the armored wine cellar. <laughs> so the Germans have turtle back armor and the uh, the French have wine cellar armor. Got it. And, and bench yeah. armor. Wine and bench. Got it. And bench. Uh, uh, wine and, and bench armor. And they should, probably have, they should probably have some fromage armor as well, right? Now, hit um, points. Age, age fromage. Age, age fromage. So, 75,000 hit points. It actually has more hit points than the Alsace as well. Very interesting. So, there's some things that are kind of nice for it. And you could definitely build it for a secondary battleship, or you can build it for a tanky battleship. Chat. Chat. I need to know from you. I'm going to make a poll. I'm going to give you one minute. I hit the wrong button. <laughs> Stupid. I, I started a one minute <laughs> ad. God. New poll. We're gonna we're gonna ask chat for the build. Do we do a typical standard BB tank? Or do we do secondary? One minute, start poll now. What would you guys like me to build? Um, and while we're doing that, one thing I want to note is when we go to our camouflage, camo's not bad, although I kind of like the blue. I think I might take a screenshot of it like that. That looks kind of nice. That, that blue looks nice. Yeah. But I, I want better, I want better uh, rewards from playing the ship. So I'm going to play a one time off camo anyways. And for some odd reason, Wargaming wants you to detonate when you hit, um, you know, your standard uh, flag. So just make sure that you always run protection with your Julia Charlie. And if we're going to make this either secondary or not, we're probably going to want to buff the fire chance of the ship. And it looks like people want a standard battleship tank build. Interesting. I thought you guys were going to troll me with secondaries. Oh, I was hoping people would actually troll you with secondaries. Sorry, raining. <laughs> How did you get your hands on the two-color choice of the French P on the French ships? So, Dutch, uh, I should have mentioned at the start of this, uh, the ship is provided to me uh, for free by Wargaming for review purposes, and that was simply what it came with. Um, I no, don't know. No, what happens is that it's that um, you know those um, key. Like that, um, like you go into your profile and you have those collections, right? Mm -hmm. And you do one of the French collections and then you have the option of change. And if ever you do one of them to completion, then you have the chance of change. Yeah, not the chance. You'll be able to change the color scheme of the permanent camouflage or the cam or the uh, camouflage right. on it. So it's so it comes any French ship that you get afterwards after you get that those those uh, missions done um you can actually um you can actually just change the colors i'm not sure which french collection though it is i, I have to check but i'm not in boats right now it's under um uh, profile collections and it's one of these what am i yeah, oh it's e -box. One of the french ones i think it's the one with the rooster on it yep i was just thinking the same thing here it is right here Vive la France collection. So you should be able to get two flags on your French battleships. And if ever, uh, yeah, I think if ever you go to, is it that one or is it the other one? It's not this one. And it has to be the other French one, which I forgot that. I forget which one that was. Uh, Dunkirk? No. No. I don't know. It's on there. It's one of the French. Because I know all the other French battleships can can run two cam uh, uh the the two different yeah. color schemes. So. All of them, all of them can, yeah. Not just battleships, but the entire nation. Oh, yeah. I, uh, no. 
Oh, maybe it's the Bell F. F, F it, yeah, Bell F. It could be the Bell F. Yeah, Bell F. No. 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 Eh. It's in here somewhere. But I'll go back to talking about the ship. One other thing to note is the uh, speed of the ship. It goes 35.2 knots with the speed flag, which is absolutely ridiculous. Now, you compare that to the Alsace, which has 32. Does that also have speed flag? No. Let's put speed flag on. 33.6. So the Flandre actually is faster than the Alsace as well. Keep in mind, of course, the Flandre does not get access to the engine boost consumable that you get with the uh, the other ones. So unfortunately, you cannot do 40 knots. No, but that's okay. You can you can still go, you can still go quite fast. Um, guys, I'm going to take the ship into a random battle. Would anybody like to be a bodyguard and join me for a division? If so, send me a message in game. I'll grab the first two people who send me a message. And in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and bump out. Jean-Jacques Honoré to 21 because we can and I'm gonna throw him in the ship because he's got the extra grease the gears ability we said we were going to do standard battleship tank build so let's do that what's my concealment 12.7 so I suppose dead eye would be a good thing to take right mm. Why not? Why not? Just for experimental reasons. Yeah, so I'm Why wouldn't you take Dead Eye? What's up, SAT? I mean, Honoré's got buffed Adrenaline Rush and buffed Grease the Gears. So those two, I think, are standard lock. Um, the other option, if I drop Dead Eye, I could take Priority Target and something else. But. I think I'd go Dead Eye. You could also do Close Quarters Combat to buff your reload. Um, but that doesn't jive well unless you're going a full secondary build. So I think I'll go for this. We need people that love to fire that new ship. Let's do it. All right, nobody has sent me a message, so I'm guessing that uh, you guys want me to take this out by myself, which is fine. Yeah, Invictus Bismarck, down, hello. Which is, which is totally what we want to do. We just want to hunt you down. Winner is okay. going to join. All right, I'm waiting for one more person. Send me a message in game. Um, kitten. All right. While they're setting up their ships, one other thing to take a look at is the turret traverse. 28.8 seconds with Jean-Jacques Honoré's buff. Let's compare that to... Yeah, see, so the main batteries also turn a little bit slower than the Alsace does. Oh, but keep that in mind. Keep in mind the Alsace has that uh, slot 6 mod that decreases your turret traverse capability as well, right? So we're not necessarily looking apples to to apples here. With my luck, I'm putting a ramming flag on. <laughs> All right. So let's take her out into battle and make sure that I've got naval battles selected. I do. And I need to do at least 10,000 battle damage. We can make that happen. So let's take the ship out, see how she performs. One of the things that I like to do when I do a review is to do it live with you guys and take the the ship out so that we can see it without looking at replays. So I don't, I'm not cherry picking the best, um, you know, the, the best game that I had or almost, anything like that. Yeah. Oh, good. It's a tier 10 game. Just what I want to see. We have got an enemy uh, TNG division. And they've got a Hakuryu. Uh, we've got an FDR. And we have a... Looks like a uh, division of players from Day. Triarch is in here too.
Um, I know, Coughlin, and knowing my luck, that's how it'll be. Okay. Um. Based on numbers, I think we might be better off heading towards A cap. I don't think we want to sit in B cap, being the, the only, like, tier 8s in here. So this is one of the negatives to buying a tier 8 chip, is you can very easily get yourself stuck into a tier 10 game. Which obviously is nowhere near as fun as a tier 6 game. That being said, thank you guys for suggesting the typical battleship build, because I think I'd do better in this game that way than full secondaries. 7 is also pretty is also pretty good for using dead eye. Mhm. Mm That's part of the reason why I picked dead eye uh, CT cuz I saw that 12.7 and I thought the same thing, right? Like you can take advantage of that. So even on the smaller maps you can take advantage of it. Mhm. Mm now, I don't have priority targets, so I have to keep that in mind as I'm Moving around, I'm currently broadside to a whole lot of enemy battleships, but uh, at the same time, I don't, I didn't see any like pop up as as detected, which tells me I'm probably okay. Probably. Guys, if you got any questions about the ship and its performance, you think you want me to take a look at, let me know in chat uh, during this re during this uh, battle or after the battle, we could take a look in port as well. Stalingrad just a little bit out of range for me. Bravo Cap is being taken. Probably going to be their Benham. Hey, Askins! Yes, the FDR might go for the island. That's a good point. Askins, hey! Hey, Askins. <clears throat> Fortunately, I've got... I've got this 35 knot behemoth. FDG is kind of coming in. He's pretty low. Yeah, close support is, is a bold move indeed. I think the Minotaur is out of his uh, smoke because I got detected for a bit there. Here come some shells for me. Yeah, see, when I called the Benham is probably in B, the worst thing you could do is stick around B. At least you got a shot on the Des Moines. Let me see, where's my... Close out of that tab. Getting some frame rate stutters. My uh, computer is at max. So let's see if I can shut down a couple of things and try to get a couple frame rate no. frames back. Well, that was like me, short. Yep. Yeah, so if you know if you think that there's a, a torpedo destroyer in the mid, you're far better off going south. Um and, you know, sticking with the the, the group. Yeah, you know. Let's see if we can't shoot the um FDG. Now, by the way, I want to mention there is a bug in the game right now. More gaming is well aware of the bug and they are fixing it uh with the next patch. And that bug is that if you click on the right click to free look, you're only zoomed in. You can't free look and, uh, you know, zoom out and stuff. So keep that in mind. Uh, when you buy the ship, if you are going to pick it up, you're going to have to deal with that um, for the first patch. Minotaur is coming out. He's going a lot faster than I thought he would be going. Yeah, Oskins, you absolutely can. Sure. Oh, somebody smacked the Minotaur. There's Bribery the Venom. Oskins, huh? 
Is he gonna beach? I don't think he's gonna beach. No. All right, so I've got a Richelieu and a Repub down here that I'm gonna have to kind of keep my eyes peeled for. I think we're gonna switch to maximum Han 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 mode. Flandery's reload was too slow to let you get a second shot at Minnow. Yep. Yep, so my only chance of getting a shot on him is if he beached, which he did not do. Uh, looks like the carrier is going to force him out a little bit, so that's interesting. Is this a tier 8 French battleship farming tier 9 and tier 10? Yep. Well, no, just another Just an eight, another, yeah, another 8, yep. Mm -hmm. With the Benham pushed back, I've got the ability to kind of stay farther... Uh, are closer to the uh, the action, so I'm gonna start reversing here. Minotaur coming out. Bribe complete. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Gifting five tier one subs? Wow. wow. Askance gifted so 18 a subscription. Askance gifted a tier one sub to so 18. Dude, that's, that's five times we're hearing those beautiful 510 millimeter guns. That's awesome, man. Thank you, Askins. Askans gifted Darth underscore one a subscription. Askans gifted a tier one sub to Darth underscore one. All right, these guys aren't paying any attention to me, so I think I'm gonna just I'm gonna make them pay attention to me. Askans gifted great owner subscription. Askans <laughs> gifted a tier one sub to great one. Cause we got to do something here. How is that Minotaur still alive? Ashkans gifted Thenatis a 15 a subscription. Ashkans gifted a tier 1 sub to Thenatis a 15. Much love for the Zap. <laughs> well, thank you, Askins. Ashkans gifted your underscore sat underscore score a subscription. Ashkans gifted a tier one sub to your underscore sat underscore score. Underscore score. Oh, that Paulo's not looking too healthy. There's the Minotaur. And of course the Richelieu goes broadside when I've got HE loaded. Oh well. Hey, edge case. There's the Benham. Yeah, for people that like to do free looking, it is it is quite frustrating to hit that right mouse button and only be locked into a zoomed in view, but like I said, it's gonna be fixed. Like they always say in video gaming these days, wait for the patch. Hello, Fire Chance. Georgia's just getting farmed. Oh, well, that just means I need three wins in ranked, that's all. No problem. I can do that. <laughs> Lol.
Hey, there we go. Someone sm- Oh. There goes our Minotaur. Venom's doing work this game. He claimed the middle, and he's just torping the hell out of everyone. About one or more ships to die, and you lose on points. Yeah, that's actually a pretty quick game. Oh well. I mean, it's a tier 10 game, and I'm in a tier 8 battleship that uh, doesn't exactly have the strongest of AP. So... Uh, 10 about 11 minutes. That's actually about average. Hmm. <laughs> ah, you just activated my adrenaline rush. Yeah, there's a reason. That's one of the main reasons why Benham is no longer sold. Right. Well, actually, no. Benham was, uh, you could win her after a long grind. Yes. And then she was never offered again. Yes. And I remember a lot of players were really upset about the grind, and they, they said this is BS and blah, blah, blah. And now they're upset that they can't get her. Don't worry. That's why Wargaming gave us Z44. What? If that felt pretty good. Tier... Go ahead. Uh, Wargaming figured if you can't have a Benham, you can have the next closest thing, which is a German, uh, German torpedo destroyer. Hmm. And yeah, That's... your all your shells nose dive into the torpedo belt. Good times. Well, at least I hit him in the butt. And there goes Treyarch, also flooded out by the Venom. Oh well. That's right, you could get her in the Santa containers, couldn't you? Mm hmm So let's take a look at our performance in our bottom tier game. I mean, top half of the team, considering I was bottom tier, isn't too bad. Take a look at our detailed report. I killed the tier 10 battleship, French battleship, so that felt good. But, uh, yeah. I mean, if you like French battleships, she's cool. She's fun. French on French violence, that's terrible. That's right. Uh, I only got two fires out of 36 HE hits, so that's a pretty darn low HE fire chance. Let's take a look at what our fire chance is of these uh, main guns. 36% base. Hmm. Definitely felt that 36% base, didn't I? Maybe I should have put those extra flags on. <laughs> but regardless, um, she felt like a friendship. I would probably change, uh, change this to propulsion because I felt like she had a very sluggish acceleration. So I want to get up to 35 as quickly as possible, I think. So that's one thing that I'm going to switch up. So. Uh, does anybody have any other questions about this ship, the Flandre? Who do you recommend the Flandre for? Uh, mainly people who love playing French battleships. Um, I know that some people have had a lot of fun with the secondary build Flandre. Uh, so if, if that's your if that's your thing, if you love secondary spec French battleships, she'd be great. I really wish Wargaming would bring back Operation Hermes. That's the uh, that's the French mission where you could take the Richelieu, the Gascon, and the uh, Lyon into battle. Because I think that Flandre would do really well in that operation, and it would be a really good selling point for for people to, uh, to you know to want to pick up the ship. Um, beyond that. I would much rather play a bunch of other tier 8 ships um, than this. I think I would have more fun with the Tirpitz. I think I'd have more fun with the uh, Massachusetts. Though the Massachusetts is no longer sold. So. Alabama. Yeah. Uh, the, way I the way I see it, Flander is a pretty, uh, pretty basic tier 8 battleship no real gimmicks that stand out. Mm -hmm. So for people who just want a 
uh, standard battleship without anything too special, or for like newer players who you don't want to overload with gimmicks, Wander is actually a good choice. Right. Now, Eisenhower brings up a good point. If you look at the, the fine text for the Flandre, if you look at the, uh, the, the little information at the bottom, it says that this ship may be adjusted in the future based on performance. Now, some people are looking at that and saying, oh, you're going to nerf my ship. Uh, keep in mind that the adjustment could go the other way too, and it could be a buff. That being said, Wargaming has nerfed premiums before, and to my recollection, they've never directly nerfed a premium since. Uh, before, I should say. They've they've done... Um, mechanics 3170 yeah. is now Global following. Changes. They've done mechanics mm -hmm. changes, which has had an impact, of course, on, on specific ships. Like, some people are looking at the Flint right now with the Commander rework as a prime example of that. But um, they've never gone and actually nerfed a premium ship directly. This, the little text here says that they can adjust the ship's performance capabilities. So if the Flandre ends up overperforming, Wargaming is essentially saying that they reserve the right to nerf its maybe reload or something else with it, which obviously has some people concerned. Are they going to do it? I, I don't know. I don't think that they will. The Flandre to me does not feel like she is overpowered, overtuned at this point. Um, like SAT said, she's a very balanced kind of standard tier 8 battleship so that's the reason you're not going to get her eisenhowers so that's fine honestly i always i always tell people that if you don't believe in something then you give the feedback and you give the monetary feedback as well you vote with your decisions with your money if you don't mm -hmm. like the decision then don't buy the ship plain and simple uh and also give that feedback too you know make sure that that you tell wargaming that that's important um, but you know, if they end up, if people end up buying a ship and then, you know, it, it sales wise, it does well or good enough for, for wargaming size, then, you know, you're, you're simply not gonna, uh, you're, you're gonna see this continue, I should say. So yes, Sharky, I do remember the attempt. Uh, they wanted to, uh, change the Julio Cesare. And the idea was that that could open up the ability of nerfing or changing other premiums like the Belfast so it could be sold again which makes kind of sense but at the same time there's people who bought it on the premise that they bought the ship as it was and they wanted to say I feel like we're getting into a Zath chat now um, but anyways I think um, I think that's a consideration that you the player needs to make uh, when you ultimately are deciding whether or not to purchase the ship and some of you guys have made that that's great you know, that's why we're here. That's why this review is out here. That's why I'm talking about the ship. Any other questions? Anything else that you would like to ask about? All right. Well, guys, thank you very much for listening in on our uh review for the flandre i am going to switch over to salt mode and i'm going to see if i can get three wins in ranked it might take a while but we're going to go for it <laughs>